Oh my god. All right, fly me, fly me away, big boy. <laughs> fly me away. All right. Let's. See. Where do you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> place is overwhelming. There's something to see around every corner. If you are in Pensacola, I would definitely suggest coming here. You can spend an entire day here. Oh no, look at the one up there. Probably the most produced plane of the day. I love the biplanes. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. That is sharp looking. It's called the Vought VE7. I think that was probably right. Do you remember that? The happiest day. Even <sighs> happier almost than the day that I was released. Because of you finally you were able to be with uh, people. And a lot of these guys I, I tapped on the wall to for years. I've never seen them. So we're gonna have a little lunch at the what is this called the QB QB Bar Cafe. How fun is this? They offer healthy choices, a veggie quesadilla. We're going to take a two o'clock tour out on the runway, and since it's still active, we're going to have to go on trolley. There's uh, 73 of them did survive and escape and eventually get back to the U.S. Uh, I'm told that one is still alive today. Uh, I wasn't sure, but uh, he's 102 years old. He's Jimmy Doolittle's co-pilot, but he is still alive. This is the original Fat Albert Blue Angel support aircraft. We actually have to go under the wing to get through here. And we don't have any choice. The other gate is broken. <laughs> we saw coming through the gate, but this is the airplane that landed aboard the aircraft carrier Forrestal back in 1963. The Navy wanted to find out if that would be possible in an emergency. So one of our test pilots flew that airplane out to the Forrestal off the coast of Virginia. They shot touch and goes for practice. It does not have a tail hook. It does have reverse thrust on those propellers. They did 21 unarrested full stop landings on the far stall. They did deck run takeoffs. So they proved if you had to, you could land a C-130 on a carrier, but nobody's ever really wanted to do it again. It's not <laughs> practical at all. Okay, thank you. Don't forget Hangar Bay 1. Yay. I'm trying to 
curious. Come on, make the kid noise. No, so. Come on, you can do it. No. You know you want to. You're doing it in your head. You know you are. You're flying a mission in your head. <laughs> <coughs> so I think this is before the HUD. I wonder, I wonder if they knew that, that one was supposed to spin. Which one's that? That one that there's a plane spinning. You know, there is so much to see here that there's no way I can cover it all. So if you are in the Pensacola area, come down and take a look at this place. You could spend a whole day here. You know, it is, it's absolutely fantastic, some of the engineering and the history that goes into this. And there's just no way that we can, we can cover all of this. So thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed our little tour, our, our little part of a tour. And um, if you you like what you saw, then make sure and like and subscribe. And as always, keep living the dream.